Oh then, so today we are running some Paul, uh, mainly because I don't really know what to play for Nilfgaard at the moment. Um, I tried a few things. I think like Hyperthin's decent. Um, Plog and Mill are also a thing, but I'll come back to Ball. You know, see how it's doing after it's been uh, nerfed into the ground, basically. And you know, it seems pretty fun. There's been some nice changes. Uh, morale. Getting a provision buff, for example, is really, really nice. So what we're going for is just a ton of control. Exactly how Ball used to be, just it's been gutted on its provisions. Um, so what we got, you know, for tools that are actually going to help us out now is Yank Calvert will give us consistency, so we're not actually going to miss Masquerade Ball. Um, and another nice card is Philippe Van Molleheim. So in matchups where your opponent is looking to interact with you a little bit more they're not just control heavy um theon is really good for protecting it and he allows you to just pump out status effects you know get locks down get poisons down um and this obviously pairs up really really nicely with the thirsty dames because obviously they're going to get bumped up every single time one of these uh provisions this these statuses come down sorry and i'll get my words out um, we obviously have a lot of the standard stuff you will be used to kind of seeing. Uh, so things like Yennefer's Invocation, uh, Vincent, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the aim of the game is we're not going to have very high point values. We're trying to stop our opponent having high point values. So that's about it for explaining how the deck works. It's just hyper control. Um, I will go straight into the games. and Hope you enjoy. Catch you in the next one. All right, cool. cool, cool, cool. Um, I mean, I don't think we had too much. You know, this should be fine for us. Give her five. I don't actually think there is. We'll just hold on to the lock. Defeat them with hunger, crush them with thirst. Play the Nilfgaard classic. We also need to be mindful that we do run a very limited amount of aristocrats. Um, obviously, we're guaranteed to find these two once we've played Jan Calvert, but you know, it's just something to keep in mind. Um, it's better to have a spare one about so you can sequence a little nicer. Um, like, for example, we don't typically want to be using, like, uh, Vincent to be triggering the last bit of ball because, you know, he might be a target we're kind of holding to, like, pick something later on. Um, but, you know, it's something to keep in mind. Something to keep in mind. Fisher King. Cool. All just kind of bad, right? <laughs> All of them were like four points, five points, or five points. Oh well, that's diplomacy for you. like six points don't know why i'm checking my graveyard that's not gonna work uh we don't even have a beast do we no so this is the only one that we'll do this just in case we want to start messing about with the back row kind of stuff i'm well aware their own date is getting quite scary just don't have a great deal of points living souls in your Ooh, hello right now is not good. But damn, 
Um, we'll get out going slash range. I agree that Ellie is fine with me. Just get us to the point where we can just play whatever um, and get ahead. There is hers. Cool. Let's well, say we play Vincent. Puts us to, say, 5. 38. Then we can do this, put 5. Okay, this is the better way around to do it. As uh, because we get two ticks of bleeding this way around. Which will put us ahead by one. Uh, the other way around, we draw. Bench for it, well. Sad. Sad. <laughs> Just didn't quite have the hand for it. I mean, at least we can play Yank Calvert. Um, if I also they're running Dench Threat and Dorigore. Seems unnecessary to me. Like to see a pass, but I don't expect one. I suppose. And that Again. gets locked real quick. Your because they're probably running a banner, right? That and like. Now this keeps us ahead. It means they can't just dip out. Cool. Be on, uh, just because we may be wanting to leap here. They played the purify as well, so I'm a lot more confident with the defender. Aware that this is getting a little, a little bit slow. Okay. Blood doesn't cut through. That's good. Drinking can be hazardous to your health. <laughs> if they pass. Expected as much. Okay. Um. Honestly, this is okay. This is fine. Uh, we know there's no heat wave as well, so ball's pretty much safe. And our cards are literally just going to be. Uh, and then the next card's morale. Do we want morale over Vilg? Honestly, I'd say yes. Uh, 
Don't you pester me. Is realization going to set in? Yeah, I'm not expecting to get great value on the poisons. Um, we have enough removal for everything. So. Kind of fine. Death can come where blood does not. Uh, they probably have a Berengar here. Berengar, I keep saying it's Junod. Keep saying, um, on him Berengar. Ah, oh, that's fine. Impertinence is the one thing I cannot abide. And then we enter whatever the last card is. And we're good. Like I say, we're not going for uh, tall point turtles. Cool. Alright, yeah. Balls. Ball feels kind of good, to be honest. I'm surprised how good this deck feels. Um, Jan Calvert's just kind of nuts. <laughs> just being able to have that guaranteed all gold hand is just ridiculous. I did definitely misplayed with that gold. Like, they literally could have just played it melee row and not discarded, but... Kind of is what it is, right? Is what it is. Uh, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, good luck deck, I think. <laughs>